Impressed by both the original Ego 56 volt cordless lawnmower and the new Ego Peak Power lawnmower, news of a third generation mower quickly caught our attention. When we found ourselves able to test it on a nearby sod farm, we jumped at the chance. The Ego Select Cut Lawnmower is the company's third generation self-propelled lawnmower and features an improved 1000 watt brushless motor and all new blade design. After testing this mower over two days on literally acres of pristine and tall St. Augustine, this mower seems to be the new top performer. The battery on the Select Cut now inserts at an angle so you can see the charge status while you mow, and everything is still IPX4 rated to handle dust and water. Ego keeps the same 21 inch cutting deck and 20 and a quarter inch blade diameter as prior mowers, but you get a new dual blade design for better mulching and bagging. Not to be confused with a side-by-side -side dual blade system, this blade looks like a narrow X. The two blades work together to lift and cut grass into very fine pieces. How fine? We found no clumping underneath the deck and it did a great job bagging. Aside from the self-propelled Ryobi, which practically vacuumed up the grass, and a $1,200 commercial mower, it bagged more St. Augustine grass than any other self-propelled mower in our sod farm test. Not content to stop there, the Ego Select Cut also comes with an additional tri-cut blade. This gator-style blade has a higher lift and features teeth that shred grass even more completely when mulching. It captured a similar amount of bag grass as a standard blade, but with even finer pieces. Its only downside comes at the expense of some runtime. In our testing, the mower lost around 12 to 15% overall. For those interested in better mulching, this trade-off could be well worth the benefits. We tested the Ego Select Cut lawnmower at Golf Kissed Sod in Vero Beach, Florida. We couldn't think of a better way to try out the new Gen 3 mower than by running it on acres and acres of pristine Floritan. We started by, well, starting the mower, which is even easier than before with a more ergonomic start button. The front LED lights are also activated from the handle, so no more leaning down to turn them on. The updated self-propelled mechanism on this mower also works really well. Ego now features a center-mounted speed dial. It sits smack dab in the middle of the handle and sets the desired pace. It's much more visible, easier to adjust, and has a more tactile feel when you're using it. To actually engage self-propelled mode, however, you simply grab the handles as you normally would. A top grip or a side grip works equally well, and the twin buttons naturally push in as soon as you grasp the handle. Just be sure to properly set the handle height as this makes the mechanism almost foolproof. Ego also keeps the same great treads on the wheels. We found they give a lot of traction when dealing with inclines or wet grass. And that matters more than you might think, particularly when you're cutting higher grass, you go for a more aggressive cut. We found we could drop the mower deck down to two and one eighth inches when mowing floor tan. That's really short and represents a very difficult, if not impossible cut for many self-propelled lawnmowers. With the seven and a half amp hour, 56 volt lithium ion battery, we got just shy of an hour of runtime mowing and mulching thick and dense Floritam sod under a medium load. To put that into perspective, this mower will cut nearly a half acre on a single charge. Use it more regularly for light load trimming and you should expect closer to three quarters of an acre of mowing area before having to swap out the batteries. Even under what we considered a heavy load, the Ego Select Cut pulled off over a quarter acre and 39 minutes of runtime. As mentioned earlier, the tri-cut blade is going to drop some of that mowing time in exchange for better mulching. Under a medium load, you'll see 45 minutes of runtime or 0.35 acres of cutting. With a heavy load, you can expect 29 minutes and about a fifth of an acre. Ego claims up to seven foot-pounds of torque on this mower. Some of this power and runtime comes thanks to the new 1000 watt brushless motor. The Ego Select Cut mower captured 3.34 pounds of grass at a standard baseline distance in our tests. We also saw no trailing as we mowed, so the mower collects a large majority of the grass that it cuts. Cut quality was fantastic, and this mower had some of the shortest pieces of grass when using the tri-cut blade. With the standard blade, the cut looked very even in our scoring. You only saw a few outliers at the very edges of the cut. The Ego Select Cut lawnmower takes everything great about the second generation model and delivers even more performance. By keeping the kit price around $659, Ego also stays in a very competitive, though premium, space. If you already have batteries and a charger, the Bear Gen 3 lawnmower should price out around $460. And you get the same five-year tool and three-year battery warranty Ego offers on all their cordless outdoor power tools. You can find even more information on this mower and more data on ProTourReviews.com. And be sure to check out this new mower at Home Depot. Also, don't be shy about hitting that subscribe button 
and click the bell icon to be notified when we post the latest tool reviews and head-to-heads. As always, thanks for watching.